Hi, it's Peter Carney from cityfoodgrowers.com.au. I'm in my vegetable garden in southeast Queensland and I'd like to take you on a bit of a tour. It's uh, autumn and there's lots and lots of things happening in this vegetable garden so let's go through each bed one by one. There's about a hundred square meters of planting space here and a lot of food underway um, and planted as well. So this garden bed here has some leafy crops in it, primarily, primarily a leafy bed but it has some capsicums finishing off here and with this uh, wire fence here is climbing frame we've got some peas and beans finishing off and at the end of this bed everything's growing well there's kale, cabbages, lettuce, um, bok choy, pak choy, mizuna yeah a whole mixture of leafy plants and then there's some turmeric here this next bed here has um, uh, leeks growing in it. Uh, see this leek here. Uh, there's lots of them in here. There's probably about 30 leeks in this bed and they're in rows and they've been their position. I'm going to be planting strawberries in here because leeks and uh, strawberries are good companions so I'll be getting the strawberries next week. So this will be filled with strawberries. It's been a little bit hot to plant them so it's getting cooler now and I also have snow peas planted along the edge which will go up this climbing frame here which is about two meters high we have had this long fence here completely covered with peas before which is amazing and they can be harvested from the back and from the front and down the end there we've got some uh, sweet potato and there's a pawpaw tree there okay so let's go to the next bed so on this next bed here uh, it's a carrot bed which I planted out about 10 days ago. I expect to get about 500 carrots out of here. It's 5 meters long. There's already some little seeds uh, popping up here. You can see the, the green just uh, in the bed here. Yeah, some little bits, little small. Then the next bed on are some leafies, mixture of Asian greens and lettuce again and up the end there are some herbs so on this bed here the next bed along it's got uh, some eggplants and you can see the beautiful fruits just coming under the leaves there nicely shaded by the leaves uh, some capsicums little capsicums they're very spicy those ones they're more like something between a capsicum and a chili there's more eggplants there and on the fence here I'm experimenting with uh, um, nasturtiums which I normally let nasturtiums go along the ground but I I want to climb these on the, the fence so that they don't take up so much space and use them to create a beautiful coloured backdrop and I, I love eating the nasturtium flowers and they are quite good as a companion we've had a bit of an issue with nematodes in this bed so I've got the marigolds there and the nasturtiums also help. So let's go to the next bed. We have this um, amazing zucchini here which has very big leaves and they're a, they're a silvery colour. There's no mould, see the leaves are totally green underneath and there's the fruits in the middle there. We've had lots of fruits off this one and we have five more of these plants in the garden so we're getting a lot of zucchinis at the moment and they're growing so well considering that we've been in our very humid time of the year I've had no mold at all so we go along this bed got a space here which is quite nicely prepared the soil is good um, nice and crumbly but a bit sticky um, so I'll be putting beans in here bush beans it's starting to be a good time to plant those now when it's not as hot and some marigolds on the corners then more of these uh, zucchinis here with some different plants underneath them there's some tomatoes that have come up and over here we've got a herb bed which has just been recently planted with uh, this coriander 
uh, parsley, sage, chives, curry bush, um, yeah, different mixture of parsley, then our beautiful bird bath here, which the birds really, really love. They spend so much time in there, which is great to keep them engaged in the garden. Um, bird families, not chickens. The chickens will come in and make a mess of the place, but the, the other birds just tend to enjoy it and care for the space. Okay, next bed. This is this one here, which has got some leafies along the ground again, lettuces. Um, and a basil bush which has been going now for about seven months and it still hasn't flowered, which is quite amazing. Um, shows how, how strong the soil is in this bed. A nice chilli bush behind it. And in the middle, in the spaces, I'm uh, just starting to get some beans going, some climbing beans growing up a string. Uh, I've got some tomatoes over here growing like that as well. So it's still, I'm still experimenting with the beans because they have fairly thin stalks. It's just you have to be really careful with those. Up here we have some beautiful rocket. Lots and lots of rocket growing here. It's amazingly flavorful. Some more leeks growing there and spring onions and other zucchini. And up the end here um, we've got, I've planted some pumpkins which you can see these little pumpkin heads coming up here now I planted these in this space because there is a I dug a barrier in the on the edge of the garden here along here there's a barrier at the end and that was a hole down about a meter with plastic in it and that's to keep the roots from this big bamboo stand here which is quite a problem having next to a vegetable garden but anyway um, I've uh, dug down got all the soil out put the plastic in put the soil back in and so I thought within that soil which is some of it's okay I put some compost in planted the pumpkin seeds are starting to come up and I'll let them grow over this what looks like a relatively barren space but it's uh, soil that's really getting uh, hammered by the the bamboo so keep the, uh, the, the pumpkins fed in this nice soil mix here. Okay, let's go to the next bit. See some nice uh, zucchinis in there, <laughs> growing really well. And so this next bed here is um, one that I've recently just cut down a green manure and <clears throat> it's had these marigolds in. The soil is good again. It's um, nice and moist sort of sticky and a bit crumbly so pretty good condition so I'm going to be planting pulling up some of the the marigolds and be planting uh, garlic and more leeks in here and also have a, a line going down the middle of this uh, on star pickets and I'll be growing some peas here too uh, this plant here is sorrel which is a really beautiful flavoured plant. Uh, it's a perennial, it's been here for a few years now. Another zucchini up there. So we go to this next bed, which is an incredible leafy bed. It's got all these different greens in here, which are growing amazingly well, seeing as where it's still up to 30 degrees uh, during, the, during the day. Um, so I'm quite surprised at how robust these are though we have been doing a lot of work with the soil here and with biodynamic preparations and it is this whole garden is only two years old so up the back here see there's a mixture of there's rocket and lettuce and there's a few um, capsicums the hot ones in here there's a mixture of basils here this one is a lemon basil which is absolutely beautiful flavor this one a Greek basil, fantastic bush, it's all growing well. See the nice uh, Asian greens there, lettuce here, which we've been harvesting from now for about four weeks. And then the next bed is mostly a fruiting bed. And so it has, this bed has only been here for eight weeks. And so it has cucumbers on the climbing frame here 
see they're all growing like crazy. Been harvesting lots of cucumbers from that, from those climbing frames, keeping them well up off the ground so that they don't get mouldy. And this bed's about eight metres long. And then on the other side of the bed, we've got tomatoes that are tied up. They're tied up with string, and the string is coiled around this tomato stalk. So I'm not using stakes here. Um, tying the tomatoes up the string. So there's about 10 plants along here and in between those plants is basil which is a really good companion. So there's a mixture of uh, basil for those plants. And just up here I'll show you our compost area. Um, some more tomatoes here. This is our little compost bay here. You can see we just made a compost heap here and that's cooking really well. It's still very hot. This here is our finished compost, which is just incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible. You can't get better compost than that. It's beautiful. So, good enough to eat, maybe. <laughs> um, I haven't eaten it, but anyway. I've seen people taste it. And they seem to be all right after tasting it. Okay, so that's my garden tour. And uh, yeah, in a few months it'll be all different again with lots more crops. So thanks for listening. It's Peter Carney from cityfoodgrowers.com.au and we've got another biodynamic gardening workshop coming up soon. So check it out on our website at cityfoodgrowers.com.au. Bye. <laughs>